but you see, that's just what the country needs, those sorts of things. We have compacted soils in the country and the dung beetles dig their tunnel system and go down to a depth of about 300 millimetres and the radius of the tunnel system is roughly about the size of a bicycle wheel. So that two litres of dung there, it, when beetles did bury it, it would get buried into a, a circle as big as that. The, the tunnel system goes down and then radiates outwards underneath. In fact, the beetles sequester it in the soil through putting more organic matter into the dung. The microbial activity thrives, earthworms thrive, and uh, nature never t intended dung to sit on top of the ground the way it does here in Australia uh, and not be recycled and put back underground. Cattle only remove about 60% of the protein in the grass that they can chew. So the other 40% 40, 40 comes through in the dung and that's what dung beetles live on, that leftover protein. Plus buffalo fly, bush fly, and many other organisms. So cow dung is a pretty rich source of nourishment for many insects. This species of dung beetle comes from around crow's nest. It's a winter, winter species. And uh, it, become, it emerges around this time of the year and uh, works all through winter and then goes into hibernation at the end of winter and that's when other species come out of the ground, emerge and they take over the next shift in the year. In my burning one is, you know, like we out here we sort of mainly only see activity after rain. Well, that's partly because you don't have enough diversity of species. Um, there certainly are a number of species that will survive very, very well in tough, dry conditions. Um, I, I'd like to see 12 or more species out here eventually. So once you release a different species, is, it, are you, is that something you're going to have to do each year? If the season oh no, you, ne you never have to release a species after they have been released and become established. Uh, and survival rate from releases is very, very good. Um, it's up in the high 90%, but there have been a few failures, but <coughs> the main trick is to match the climates. You see, if we needed beetles for Charleville, uh, in the early days, we selected a climate in Africa that was similar to cli Charleville's climate. We went there, looked at what species were available, and Africa has, um, thousands of different species of dung beetles. So we, um, we'd select the best burying species. They were bred in Africa. The eggs only came to Australia. They went through a quarantine system and um, we eventually ended up with a few dozen beetles. We bred them into a few hundred, then a few thousand, and then we put them out into a climate similar to Charleville here. So um, we've got, um, beetles that are suitable for the northwest, northwest of the country, as well as Tasmania, <coughs> um, southwest, Western Australia, and everywhere in between. But there are lots of gaps and we need to bring more species in. Um, there's a, <coughs> some interest now, you see the buffalo fly is one of the big concerns, particularly here in the north. In fact, I've seen figures indicating it costs the country up to $100 million a year. A year. This is through um, uh, mustering costs, uh, handling costs, chemical costs, and the big issue of all is loss of productivity. Uh, a, a steer left unprotected the buffalo fly in some locations can fail to put on 30 and 35 kilograms of weight per year, per season. So this to some beef producers would be the result between, would end up being, uh, the result would be being bankrupt or survival. Do you know how many species are currently in the Charleville area? Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, probably only about five or six at the most, barely that. Well, I think it's about 150 species that are currently in the Charleville area. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. I offer all beef producers a free beetle identification service, so if they want to go out into the paddocks and uh, um, dig up some dung that's about 24 hours old 
and uh, when the dung beetles are digging the tunnel system they send up soil casts around the edge of the cow dung and um, so you get a post hole shovel, a bucket and they dig the dung up with a couple of uh, 50 mils of soil and the grass it's then all placed into a bucket you then go to your watering point and put in about three quarters of a bucket of water into uh, the bucket all the beetles in there will float to the surface you pick them off put them into a tin or a jar go into your laundry get the hot water going you kill them you then spread them out on a sheet of newspaper for a day or so to let them dry out and you put them into a matchbox or a small carton and send them to me and I identify what you've got and then I can um, uh, suggest species that are needed for that climate. And this is all a free service.